6.53, time for the morning sprint. We're following some breaking news this morning. Madison police say multiple people reported hearing shots fired on the city's east side. Officers were called to Milwaukee Street near Town Center Park just before 1 this morning. They found several shell casings while they were looking over the area, but no injuries. The investigation is ongoing. To national politics now, Republican Representative Matt Gates of Florida is trying to oust the Speaker of the House. Speaker. Late last night, Gates motioned to remove Kevin McCarthy from his position. If Gates is successful, it'll be the first time in history a motion to vacate results in the removal of the Speaker. UW is condemning a disruption at a virtual panel of black conservatives from the weekend. UWPD is investigating. This incident in which uh, Zoom crashers hurled homophobic slurs to attendees and showed lewd images. So far, no updates on whether anyone's been held accountable. The leader of Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin says they're working to resume abortions in Sheboygan County. This despite the local DA considering prosecution under the state's 1849 abortion ban. Sheboygan County DA Joel Ermanski says they haven't received any violations, but says if a referral came across his desk, they would determine if prosecution was necessary. Now an update on a story we brought to you as breaking news yesterday. A man involved are inside of that duplex that caught fire yesterday morning. Uh, says he had to jump out of the window to save his life. Fortunately, He's doing just fine this morning. The fire happened just after 3 yesterday morning on Yano Street. Verona Fire considers the building a total loss. In Watertown, another fire causing about $125,000 in damage to a commercial building. Here's where it happened at the Roller Specialist on American Way on Friday. An employee used a fire extinguisher to help stop the fire from spreading. One person did get hurt and had to go to the hospital. No word on their condition. The fire was caused by hot embers that are created by machinery inside that building. The Brewers start their playoff series tonight against the Arizona Diamondbacks, although one of their top pitchers is going to be out for the wild card round and possibly the entire playoffs. Brandon Woodruff, who would have started game two tomorrow, is out with a shoulder injury. Woodruff has dealt with shoulder issues all season. All right, good morning. Five minutes away from uh, 7 o'clock, looking at our Queen Bee uh, uh, sky cam. Uh, in Platteville, just a beautiful sunrise coming up this morning, and we are looking at a lot of sun this morning as temperatures rise. Uh, visibility not a problem this morning. We don't have the fog, but it's warm, mild actually this morning. Uh, 61 right now in Mass and 54 in Lone Rock. We'll see a southerly wind that'll warm us up quickly. Upper 70s already at the noon hour. We'll see some high thin clouds start to stream into southwestern parts of the state. It'll move in, filter out the sun a little bit today, but not preventing us from possibly tying a record high, which would be 85 for this time of the year. So a lot of sunshine, not feeling like October yet, but we'll get there this weekend. We are talking about a big change as uh, some showers roll in tomorrow. Nothing real widespread or real heavy, but it will bring some cooler weather by Friday in the weekend. Definitely feeling like fall this uh, weekend, homecoming in town, temperatures in the 50s. You think the Badger game will stay dry, though? I think it will stay dry. It'll just be cool. Need a, a, need a jacket out there. All right, Kelly, thank you. It's going to be gorgeous yeah. on Saturday. All right, let's break that record high today. We got it. <laughs> let's do We're it. We're doing it. Let's go.